Hey everybody and welcome to episode 15 of Let's Build Minecraft. Today we are continuing uh, our progress. Ugh. Don't need that. Uh, we're continuing our progress on the windmill. We're going to keep doing that tutorial style building that we did last episode. Uh, you guys seem to like that. But uh, I got a few things to show you before we get started on that. And one of those things is over here. So where we just were was our farm town. Uh, I need to think of names for these things, don't I? If any of you have any ideas for names, then uh, let me know what they are. But over this way is our first town, the one built on a lake. And I think I'm getting lost. Nope, I know where I am. Um, yeah, over this way, it's right over on the other side of this roof forest biome. It's really not very far. It's just a couple hundred blocks that way, maybe even just a hundred blocks that way. Normally, our story revolves around that these two towns are connected by the water that goes over there. Well, sometimes I just scan a horse right over there, and I found this. A surface spawner, which is awesome. Because I've been just going into the nether and gathering quartz for whenever I want an experience. This looks like... can't really see with this texture, but yeah, that's a zombie. That's a zombie spawner. So... I definitely want to make this into an experience farm, something that I can come to. Nothing that's uh, tied into the world as far as like builds, but I want to make it into a usable farm, I think. And I'm going to do it pretty soon because I've been doing a lot of enchanting, getting ready for the Ender Dragon and just trying to get tools and everything. And I have not looked, well, I've looked in these kind of, but I haven't empty them out and now that I think about it I don't really have much room in my inventory but let's grab what we want um horse armor we have some golden horse armor I'm gonna grab the bones because bone meal I've been kind of using bone meal I'm gonna grab this because I've been actually I won't I've been enchanting uh fishing rods trying to get this but I actually fished this. Uh, not exactly this. I, I got some books and stuff with mending and breaking and luck of the sea. And I combined everything. I got this. And it's an unbreak unbreakable bow. It does not break. And I'll show you in a little bit. But uh, if you're unfamiliar, there's a new enchantment called mending that fixes something as you get experience. Um, We can make room by doing that. Uh cat you can grab that these don't stack do they nope uh i don't need any of that other stuff this one lure two now i'm not playing lure on this because lure does decrease the chance of getting treasure and that's what i think is fun about fishing and that's why i've just i've really just been doing it because i think it's fun um so i don't need a string because i've got my I've got my fishing rod I want. So yeah, not a ton of stuff in there. We did get a tag, but we can head back. I, I think for the spawner, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, got turned around. I'm going to go ahead and where's... There it is. And make it a crushing farm because if I made it a fall damage farm, then I'd either have to have them come all the way up and then fall down or I'd have to go all the way down. I think I'll make a crushing farm and whatever I do, uh, and if you want to know how to do it, uh, just look it up because I'm probably just going to time it out with <laughs> with redstone repeaters, nothing fancy. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys when I get back. As you can see, I have a new horse. I There's a few of these black horses with white spots over that way and I tamed both of them and they are awful like I haven't messed around with horses very much previously but I didn't even realize 
that horses could be that slow. Um, I haven't tested out how high that is, but let's see. I think this is two and a half. Uh, yeah, two and a half, three blocks. Not a good horse. Probably going to take the saddle off of him. Maybe I'll just keep him for whatever. Maybe I'll get into breeding horses and try to get a really nice one. But I know you can't really, like, breed traits. I think it's pretty much random. Uh, this name tag. Yeah, uh, not there. You can see I did get quite a bit of hay now. I have stacked up lure three. Let's just put that in here. This is, well, let's not because that's the stuff that I've been getting from fishing. And it's kind of just fun to see what I've gotten. So I have, I have another luck to see uh, rod right there. I want to combine them to get Luck of the Sea 3, but that costs 19 levels, which I don't have. I've gotten... This would make a nice book for a bow. I don't really need one. What I really want is I'm breaking... Well, I guess I have I'm breaking 2 on there. Uh, I got this, which is pretty useless. I have both of those things on my armor right now. That don't have any interest in. Protection 3, that I do want because I have a... Um, breastplate with unbreaking three, one that I'm trying to get ready for the dragon. Uh, I got some junk. This is considered treasure. Lilies or lily pads. That's a little weird. Um, I got one of these. These are pretty rare. Quite a bit of fish, a saddle, um, a name tag, tripwire hooks. It's just kind of something fun. Actually, what I did was me and my wife were watching TV and I just got my bow out and sat here and just kind of passively watch for the uh, bubbles that show up. But I've been hard at work here, kind of. Well, yeah, because it takes quite a bit of time. Making this look a little bit better. This is the look that I kind of want. Now, it looks like we're going in the direction of like just a single farm, but I definitely want a more established town. Maybe over there, maybe we'll have a big main road coming through here and put it right there. And I made this little waterfall look nicer, by the way. Actually, there wasn't even a waterfall. There was just this pond there, and I put a nice little waterfall there where you cut it down into the ground and then add some stone we could have a bigger road coming over here and that would be optimal i think because i do want to use that as a sort of a port but yeah right now it's just kind of looking like a farm <laughs> but here's what i did all of the whenever wheat is put up a block i'm putting walls and I can get down without trampling. Sometimes that tramples. That's a little weird. What I'm doing is it's just alternating cobble, brick, uh, smooth stone, and then on top I'll alternate half slabs and then walls, and sometimes I'll fit in stairs. Over here we have a too high wall, and I have quite a bit of wheat now. If I were to clean this all out, I estimate that it would be a good three stacks of hay bales. But waiting for this all to grow back does take a while when you're actually waiting. If I were to do this before an episode, and then play, record, and then by the time I was done with that, it would probably be about ready. Um, I have a little path. I have my potatoes growing over here. I have a little path over here. Just kind of started out. Um, and yeah, here's... Just an idea of what we're going to have around our windmill, which brings us to part two of the windmill. Um, I got to get some resources ready, and then we'll go back into our, our building and get some work done. First thing that we're going to do is place down fence all along this, and I'm going to want... Where's my axe? Right there. I'm going to want all of these 
corner pieces to actually be stone. Last episode, I was wrong. I thought that we needed that to be wood. We do not, and I don't even have enough. Uh, Maybe that'll be enough. So I'll fix this really quick. Now that that's fixed, we can go all the way around with, I'm using a spruce fence here. You could probably use uh, oak. Wouldn't make much of a difference, but I think I do like the darker colored fence for what we're doing. It contrasts with, I'm like one fence short. Actually, that's not true. Uh, I do want more fence. Be right back. Just confirming what I said about this being spruce. Yeah, spruce fence. I do want that spruce fence because I want to match this. You could maybe get away without being a different kind of fence, but I don't want to. <laughs> but now what we're going to do is all these... All these fence that are set one back from the forward most line on each side. We're going to raise those up. I didn't need to drop down from there. Could have just walked on the fence. We're going to raise those up two. Did I get that? Nope. And try not to fall. I'm going to I'm going to die doing this cuz this is uh I want to say the whole building is 30 blocks tall. We don't have feather falling. We're going to die at some point. I just know it. And I'm going to lose my levels. But at least we're not anywhere near 30. So it doesn't really matter. Every hard worker needs a good night's sleep. Squid. I'll be taking your ink sacks. These things are tough. I actually don't want those at all. <laughs> um, I, I went and gathered some oak wood because we're going to need quite a bit of oak wood from now on. And now I've got the leaves disappearing so I can get some more oak wood because I don't think this is going to be enough. But what we're going to need is... Um... I think there, three, four, there, and we're going to create a circle like that. Now that that's done, these pillars are going to go up 20 blocks, I believe that may change. 20 blocks, I think, and then these are going to go up. 21 I think I don't have enough wood for that yet but one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty I don't have a way to get down um am I good enough oh do I I don't want to um, actually get water all over and get in my crops. Ah, let's just go for it. That didn't work. Replanted my trees. These things are really ugly. I really want to move these, but I don't want to put them anywhere. Inconvenient. It's a struggle being lazy and self-aware at the same time. But I don't want you here. Let's try this again. That one worked. Cool. I guess I don't know if I was holding it down the first time. I might have just tried clicking. But that time... This isn't right. <laughs> uh, distracted? Hello? Um, I want... Let's do this. And put a fence there. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, I like how that looks. I like it. Standing back just to take a look at it. I'm I'm short about 17 of these. And then the walls are going to be made out of oak. So I need to wait for these to grow 
and looks like one did. I should have capped that so that no big trees would grow. But anyway, yeah, it's a pretty big building. The the windmill itself is going to be pretty big, like, like, uh, yeah, like that. <laughs> Do you guys hear that? Well, now you don't. Uh, let me turn it up for you. Oh, that's going to be loud. <laughs> that is awesome because <laughs> uh the past uh few well i i don't know how long it's been an issue but music has not been playing in the snapshots that we've had recently and the game has just kind of felt uh boring it, it felt like it was missing something i just noticed it we're in pre-release two i noticed that it seems to be fixed, and I love it. That song is super nostalgic to me, or makes, rather makes me feel nostalgic. Um, but they did have an update at some point where... This is all going to get filled in, by the way. Uh, an update where they added music and whenever that was was when I wasn't really playing much at the time so there's all these new songs I don't know that I don't really it feels out of place that they're there but then you hear the uh, do people still call it the morning song like at some point there was a theory that that song played more in the morning and if I remember right, I think I remember seeing some actual tests to determine if it played more in the morning, but I don't remember what the results were. All right, so 30, or what do we have? 32 logs got us about one wall, so I'm going to have to cut down quite a few more trees. And actually, this is going to have to go up one more, I think. And then on top of this right here, there's going to be another smaller section a smaller you, you know we got this was it six by six circle I think we're gonna do a f four by four circle on top of this you'll see uh, oops ow I know that those bones would come in handy and I'm trapped Help! I'm okay. Hey! So I'm just a few pieces of wood short here. And I just realized that I don't really have a way to... Dang it! Don't really have a way to get back up. And I guess I'm going to have to pull it all the way back up there. Place those extra... Six or so blocks. Just get another view of it, see how big it's actually gonna be. Like I said, there's gonna be a little bit on top, but that's the main part of the building. Yeah, sounds are broken. Got my music back, but um, no bow noises, no... Uh, Oops, no jangle or whatever from when you hit skeletons, uh, mind blank. I need a lot of these, and by a lot I mean, oh, uh, that should be good for now. How many did that give us? Just over a stack. Probably going to need more than that. In fact, I know we're going to need more than that. But now we're going to do... Well, uh, it's a roof <laughs> down here. What do you call a roof if it's not on top of the building? Is there a special word for that? Well, if there is, that's what I'm making. Um... Uh, right there. Try and place a block where there's already a block. Um, let me actually build a little bit of this and then get back to you. 
I've done some of it and it's really kind of a pain in the butt to do, but I'll show you how I'm doing it anyway. And this isn't the only one of these, there's got to be a word for it, uh, canopies, I don't know. Maybe canopy. I mean, I don't think of a stone roof when I think canopy. Um, here's the pattern that I'm going with. So, in the middle this is an even, an even build. We've got. Uh, you know what? This is a good spot to look at it from. <laughs> These fence are three blocks high. On top of it is a slab. Um, on the sides, there is a slab on the upper half of the fence. And then it goes up, up, and then repeats itself. Let me look over here. Yeah, then just repeats itself. The corners, same thing except... If we kept with the same theme, then this would be down one, this would be down one, and this would be down one. Instead, I have them up one. You can see it. <laughs> Let me get up higher so that you can actually see. It's kind of hard to see with this texture pack, or, well, I guess probably any texture pack. Uh, the actual details in the slabs. But it's there, so I'm going to repeat around the entire thing, and then I'll show you what it looks like. Actually, I want to show you how I'm placing these. So I just placed those right there. Um, trying to think of the best way. It's a lot of placing dirt, and it's kind of a pain in the butt, especially with these stairs here. Uh, you get really confused as to what's a full block. Is it here? Is it here? I keep getting it wrong. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry for the ahs and ums. I'm just I'm really thinking. Okay, right? Is this corner fixed? No. Okay, so there's that one on the top half of that fence, like I said. Then let's put, actually, let's put that there and that there. And just look at this to make sure it's even. Yeah, that's even. And then we're going to repeat that around good way to start each side is just like this and then that and then I do make sure that I'm on the right block and then I do that bring that out and then kind of tie in those two parts together. I gotta go sleep, and I'm gonna do the rest of that on my own, because I can't think and talk. Not think that hard, at least. It actually wasn't that bad doing the rest of this, and I left some dirt up. Uh, once I got the pattern down, there were kind of spots where I found it's easiest if you kind of do this rim next to the wall, and then I did those, and then it just kind of got easier as I figured out where the dirt needed to be placed. So let me actually fly around and show you what it looks like. So here's that pattern. Okay, that's wrong. <laughs> um, it's a good thing that I came up here because I don't know if I would ever notice that. Um, this is right. So here's a... Actually, this is about as good of a view as you're going to get. Maybe right there. That's the pattern that I did. Give you a look from here. Is this right? Yeah, that's right. So it's just that. And that's easy enough. What needs to happen here is I won't 
fix it here in creative but this uh three piece section right here needs to be moved to here so that needs to go that block needs to go right there and then that block needs to go right there yeah i'll fix that on my own um i think there's there's another smaller roof thing right around here as for the side of the windmill we can fit in some windows i think but i don't really have a plan in mind the interior i we might do i mean i'd like to do all the interiors in this world but i'm just uh, i've never really done interiors you know this is going to go all the way to the top it's going to be connected to the windmill and the windmill is going to start at the top of where that wood is pretty much that's going to be the center of it and it's going to it's going to go at a diagonal and it's going to be about that big it'll look pretty cool I, i've already built it built in yeah built in. <laughs> i've already built it in creative see i really like how that kind of frames this bottom half i really like that uh we can get a thumbnail maybe maybe there we go something like that i might change that uh i think i'm gonna do that second one off camera though maybe between these episodes then i can fly up there and show you what it looks like um and then that'll leave next episode the section up on top and then the actual windmill itself it's always nighttime when i'm wrapping up a video which i'd rather it weren't <laughs> it's like i'm just i should just make a habit of making going to sleep uh the ending and yeah look how cool that looks that's big. It's going to be big. It's going to look really cool once the windmills are on it. I'm really excited for that. And then after we get that done... Uh... Hello. I feel like the length for... You have to be closer than you used to to get in the bed. Like, I'm positive. It will not work from here. And I know I... I just tried it, and it's saying that I can't sleep there. So I know it's registering. I know I'm close enough to hit it. Anyway... After we finish this, I'm probably going to do that spawner. I might do that on my own, but I'll... Oh, you know what we forgot to do? That turned off the music, apparently. <laughs> um, uh, once I do that that spawner, I'll, I'll show you whether I... The finished product, whether I do it off camera or on camera. Um... I'm going to have to terraform this. This whole little hill right here might get taken down. After that, we're going to start planning the actual town. And it's, like I've said before, it's not going to be a dense town like the lake town. It's going to be buildings like this here and there. Like a small, a small but detailed town is what I'm looking forward to. And there's going to be a lot of wheat fields, this whole thing. I mean, not this whole thing, but a good bit of it. But anyways, we didn't get a ton of stuff done today, but that did take quite a bit. I've actually been recording for longer than when I built this section down here, which is kind of weird. I did have to get a lot of resources. But anyways, that is going to do it for today. If you like the episode, then leave a like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Uh, give me some ideas of what we should do after this windmill. And I'll definitely take those into consideration. So thank you for watching. Bye.